Where's Patrick? Come on up, Patrick. All of these folks remember when you were born. Come on up, Patrick. Good evening, everybody. I'm, I'm going to keep this so short. So, um, my father was a man that felt if you were on time, you were late. But if you were, the only way to be on time was to actually be early. And I say this because he understood that time is very important in life. You only have a finite time on the planet, and time you spend, you should be here with family, friends, and loved ones. Enjoying life for what it's worth, whether it's committing yourself to studies or making a difference in society. No matter what you do, use your time to make an impact so that the next generation will be able to use theirs for more important reasons as well. My father used his time to help many people, and I hope once my time is up that I will have had an impact similar to his. Thank you guys for coming, and thank you for celebrating my father. Third generation. Good evening. I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, I see a lot of people out here. Um, my grandfather, I just knew him as Papa, you know. I, and I just, um, I knew what he, um, I knew he was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming. My grandpa was a great man. It's not everybody whose grandfather gets a street named after him. So I'm very, <laughs> I'm very appreciative of that fact. And um, you know, if Pop Pop was here, I'm sure he'd appreciate you all as well. Thank you. Gordon Wright. of America now pronounce the Slavic re resonance of Poland as Wasmet is made of is made a part of Michigan, while priests intone a monologue from Rome. Mezzanines and rams mourn horn merge with steeple bells, bringing sacred babble to the diaspora of every standish and their facilities, scattering different Mayflowers across America's stolen land. Where once Canterbury's allegiance exacted the Protestant vow, there are now many mansions of mystery nor have the lips of African imports and ex slave syllables of a gem geography of our exiled home escaped the impotence of Malcolm X, who once fled without a country and returned to the noisy echo of this ghetto Samara. Nice Negroes never die that way, although funerals remain the same, whether in the Pentecostal weeping for the dead or in, or in Harlem made the flesh and blood of Islam. 